Hey, thanks for joining us. We are showing how to do consent for remote patient monitoring for blood pressure and how to set up a cardio arm for Joyce. Thank you. <laughs> so we've talked about it already that this is for monitoring your blood pressure uh, in your home, but in the office we get the readings as often as you hit the send button. We, we prefer to do it weekly, but it can be any interval. Uh, we also prefer that the readings actually be done daily Okay. So you'd be putting this on your arm and we'll walk through the whole thing with you right now. Okay. Sounds so good. the first step is to, I'll put this over here, sorry, uh, get the app on your phone. So, uh, well, since you have an iPhone, you would go to the app store. And when at the app store, you would search for with a little, uh, yeah. yep. there you go. It's spelled Q A R. Q-A-R. D-I-O. Oh, look, there it is at the top. So just select cardio okay. app. Okay. And it's, that's QuickBooks. That's not the right. Oh. See? <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> All right. Or, or, okay. Yeah. Or, or just, there you go. Hit that again. Hit what again? <laughs> well, it, last time it should have brought up. Uh, it says QuickBooks. Look, oh, there, there it is. It's the second one that comes up. Oh, okay. So okay. it has the, the big um, Q. A white Q on a green field. Press the get button. Okay. The circling. And it will be uploading it or downloading it, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you get this message. Let me show them what the message looks like. Okay. No, because it shows private information on it, so we're not going to. Okay. Um, but you have to use your touch ID to install. So you know how to do that. You put your thumb on it, right? And, and it says Done. good. So it starts downloading it. So now hit open. Okay. And what you will see is a green screen. A green screen. It takes a while, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, so first thing we need to do is to create an account. So hit create account. And you can see there's a number of steps we have to go through. And it asks you to put in your first name and email address and to make up a password for it. Okay. Okay. You want me to help you with that first name part? No. <laughs> I don't know my first name. Okay. I'm trying to be helpful here. I know. Because I have access to these records. No, okay. Do you want us to write down your password on this paper that we keep here at the office so that if you're ever to lose it, you could okay. ask us? That would be a good idea. Okay. Yes. Let me grab the, the uh, consent form. I will put this on my card. I have a okay. three-by-five card. Yes, tell everybody exactly where you keep the card. <laughs> okay. I recommend marking that you uh, have read the terms and conditions. Okay. Only if you've actually read the terms and conditions. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> But, but not, not the other one that says send I us want, lot, lots yeah, of junk oh, mail. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say it yeah. that. Because okay. that allows you to then register. It asks for weight, height, and birthday or birth date. Okay. I have to tell the truth. It's your doctor. <laughs> okay. I'm a female. And my height, this is CN. I mean, can I? Put oh, you, you just, uh, to make it inches. Feet? How do you make it inches? I think when you hit it. You just oh. hit that little feet. Oh, okay. So, oh, I'm five foot eleven. <laughs> no, it's not telling you how tall you are. You're uh, telling it. It how tall I am. Okay, I'm five foot four. We're safe. Okay, that's done. Done. Okay. All right. So the next step is to connect. Enable Cardio to sync your heart health data with Apple Health. Some people may want to do this. There's an app called Apple Health that comes on the operating system on your phone. Okay. And maybe it'll be useful someday for exchange of your health data. For right now, I'm not telling people necessarily to do it. Okay. We may want to in the future, and I'm sure it'll have an option. So you could just skip that part okay. if you want. Unless you want Apple to know everything about... No, okay. No. All right. I try to eat one every day now. And then to ena enable notif notifications is so that you can have this remind you to take your blood pressure. Oh, okay. Might be kind of handy that's, to have it remind yeah, you to take your blood a pressure. Good idea. So, okay. I'm going to enable that. Yes. Yeah. That 
then you have to allow it to send you notifications because the operating system makes a big deal out of it. So it gives you a choice of their products we're using. We have the cardio arm, which is the arm blood pressure cuff. So you select that one. Okay. And then we have to start doing some things with the actual product. So okay. we will take it out of the box. Can you hand me the box there? Sure. I feel bad when I reach across. It's nice, heavy. Is, is it kind of heavy? Yeah, it feels I, like. Well, it, it has quite a bit to it, but it is rather compact once you get out of the box. Oh, okay. It's the packaging that's heavy. It's the packaging. And I also write down the serial number of the number. I don't know if I'll need it or not, but I just thought it'd be a good practice to always okay. write down the serial number of the box we provide to patients. You can stop the service at any time, but we ask that you return the product. Mm -hmm. I also ask that it open. There we go. I'm glad this is entertaining to you. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I had yogurt. Oh. I love the packaging. You know, it's like Apple products. Oh. That's half of the fun. Oh. Ooh, oh, don't, don't eat this. And don't eat it either. Don't eat it. And it has uh, instructions here for how to do okay. things like reset the, the Bluetooth connection if you had to do okay. that. So that's how small the unit is. Oh, it wow. is a little hefty. Yeah. Okay. And what's it tell us to do? It tells us to turn it on. By unroll the cuff and pull the tab to automatically turn on. Okay, okay. You're, oh, and we have a green light. Yeah. Oh, you saw the green light. Yes, okay, I saw the so green light. power works. Next. Okay, I did it. So, I did it. I love how it walks you through. I did it. On your, okay, and we did it. Okay, now we put it on the arm. Preferably, the preferably left. the left arm. Okay with where it says cardio pointing towards your hand. Okay. okay. And preferably no sleeves. Right. All right, so we want to have it, this is important. Right, to there? There, or it may work with it a little bit over that way. For now, we'll just have it right okay. there. Okay. And it's important not to do it too tight. The temptation is to get it really, really tight. Right. You want to be able to get a couple fingers in here. Oh, okay. Okay, because I do mine tight. Yeah. My old one. A lot of people, and it kind of, it can kind of move a little bit. That's okay. Yeah. Preferably, we'd have like a counter like that to rest this arm on. Okay. We'll pretend I'm a counter. Now, to pair the device, you're supposed to actually touch it to it and then hit, I did it. I don't know if it matters that it actually touches, but they tell you to, so we'll do it. And what's that one say? Oh, oh, look at that. That comes up, a pairing request. When you have your Bluetooth on your phone turned on and you have the cardio unit on, it asks you to pair. All right, so go ahead and tell it to pair. Pair, okay. Pair. And now it wants to do blood pressure reading. So okay. it tells you to get in position. And then, yeah, rest, rest your arm. Right. There you okay. go. Now you're rested. Okay. Hit, I did it. Oh, it's hard for you. And then the start screen. Guess what? Oh, you figured it out. <laughs> that gigantic green button. Oh. We have noise. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like to look. Just okay, don't look. I'll look for you. Okay. <laughs> 300. 400. I'm going to take off. <laughs> Actually, you're not supposed to talk. Wow. That's good. <laughs> Do you have patients like this? And so we want to okay. say next. Okay. And it wants to know if you want to allow it access to your location information. So it can tell you your blood pressure is high at the doctor's office, it's low at your accountant's office, or whatever. Okay, okay, yeah, sure. You want I, it to, okay, so yeah, hit allow. I, I guess. It will actually track that. Okay, all right. Now, it won't know that it's your oh. doctor's office, but you'll be able to look at it and go, oh, I know where that is. Yeah. You can okay. even write a little note saying yeah. Dr. Vaughn's office. Yeah. Um, but we'll move on to. Okay. Now it tells you to put it away. Okay, so you would just undo it like you normally would do a, a blood, blood, pressure blood pressure cuff. Yeah. Get your arm out of there. It doesn't turn off. Oh, unless you get there. It. Okay. So see how that is? Okay, I got you. The way it turns off is there's a magnet in here that okay. has to be there. Ah, okay. And then it fits in the box very nicely if you wrap it like that. Okay. Or you can just keep it like this. So now hit I did it. So it's turned off now. Okay. And uh, yeah, you did it. 
Mm -hmm. So I'll put this back here. And so it's ready to start again. It's ready to start again, but I'm going to show you something. There's a, a series of three buttons along the bottom. The middle one says history, and you want to hit that history button. And then you'll see a record of your blood pressures. And in the upper right hand corner, there's the send button or share button. And you want to hit that to enter your doctor's email address. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do that part for you. And it already says, this is my doctor. Mm -hmm. And then I hit send. An email with an attachment of your measurements will be sent to the address you specified. Thank you. So I should now have an email that comes in on our HIPAA compliant email that we get through G Suite that has your, look at that. So the email will come in looking like this. So thank you, Joyce, for sharing this traumatic experience that you've gone through with all of our viewers. That's a traumatic. <laughs> okay, thank you. And if you need more information on either chronic care management or um, remote patient monitoring management, RPM, ccmpays.com, rpmpays.com shows doctors how to make it work for them. Thanks. Thanks, Trace. You're welcome.